Hi everyone, I'm playing Lauders 11 from Great Britain in a 25 minute game from ICC. Um, yesterday's game was a bit disappointing. Um, it was out of opening very, very quickly. Today it looks like we're getting a, a mainline Rui Lopez so far, uh, to which obviously I know the moves as you've already seen before. Um, I might slow down just a little bit to make sure I don't make any silly mistakes. It'll be a good chance to practice these positions. <coughs> I don't really like when they play um, D3. I think the main move is D6. I'm giving them a chance to take on C6, but whatever, let's do it. If he wants to double my pass, he can. He doesn't, so um, H3. A little bit slow. It should be seven. H6 is H6 needed. Is H6 worth it? Maybe not, because all my pawns are on dark squares right now, so... It's nice to be playing uh, a position that at least I kind of know what's going on here, so... Um. He's playing in a really weird way. I haven't really seen this move order. Um, usually that knight is doing something and um, c3 has been played. He hasn't played c3 and I think now I should be able to win this bishop. Which is desirable. b5, bishop to b3, knight a5. I mean, if he wants to sacrifice. He can. I want to go for this. I think I'm ready. I know I haven't castled. I usually do castle before doing this, but. Okay, should I go for it? Knight h5. Am I missing something? Bishop takes from f7 check, king takes, knight to g5 check, king to g8. Um, should be fine. Let's go for it. One of the rules of thumb that I know about his kind of positions is if you can win white's white bishop, usually you're fine as black. You can rush it though because sometimes you do get in trouble, but I think here I should be fine. I'm not scared of any bishop takes on f7 tricks. Um, yeah, so I can take that anytime I want now. I am probably going to castle first. Maybe bishop to g5 is good for him. Maybe. And again, as I said, all my pawns are on dark squares, so. Okay, so he's gonna go castle queen side and attack me on the king side. 
sure why not. Um, Is H6 worth it? No, I don't think so. Maybe I can play in the center now. I mean, it's a bit early. D5 would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, I can play knight to d7, knight to b6, and then get d5 anyway. I don't know. Um, well, I can't get d5 now because my pawn on e5 would hang. What about B4? If he's gonna castle on that side, maybe B4 is good. I'm gonna try B4. Now let's think about it. I have 20 minutes. Why am I rushing? This is um probably one of those critical positions, isn't it? Okay, so my pieces. The knight on A5. I'm planning to trade it, so that knight doesn't count. I think the trade is good for me. The knight on F6. He's gonna get chased away. And I cannot go to um, g5. I don't want to play g6. So he's going to have to go to d7 or e8. And either one of those squares looks fine. Then I can play c6. I play bishop b7. I really want to play in the center right now, like d5, but it's not possible. Maybe it is. Take the bishop d5. He takes my pawn. Mm, yeah, the, the c6 square is weak. I'm going to take the bishop first of all. And I'm going to play bishop b7, I think. Because then maybe d5 is possible. d5, one takes, oh no. Now play d5, he takes on e5. And then I play d4, he gets knight to c6, which is not good. And bishop b7, I think bishop b7 just developed. Oh, he took, wait, I didn't even notice, I thought he was going to take with a pawn automatically. Um, c takes on b, it's just weird, I mean, where is he going to castle now? Why, why would you do that? That looks... It does not look good. That does not look good. Another possibility here would be something like b4, and if he if he goes to um, a4, bishop to d7. Um, I mean that doesn't really 
I, I don't want to give away that bishop, so it's going to go like this. G5, um, 97, 95, 97, I can go 97, 9F8, oh, he's not going to do that, okay. Now he plays G, G5, I can play 9 to H5, so. Is he gonna play d4? Why is he opening out a position when actually his his king is completely weird? I can play uh, not yet. I'm gonna play rook to e8, bishop to f8, and then I'm gonna play d5. I think. I play rook to e8, then knight to d7 is my only option, but I, that should be okay. Actually, knight to h5 is possible, isn't it? I think I'm going to play rook to e8, just so I can play b5. a4, not really that bothered about that. Oh, I think he might be coming to g3 and then to f5, right? In that case, I want to play rook to e8. Let's, let's do that. Yeah, um, D5 next. I already thought he was going to take with an 8 point and castle, queenside, I think. That's a mistake by Mr. Loaders or Mrs. Let's have a look at their stats. 25 minutes, 351 games, 191, 154 lost. That's pretty good. Highest rating of 1741. <coughs> Okay, well, I only have one move, right? So let's play it. I can still play d5. <clears throat> okay, um, that's a very aggressive knight that I don't particularly like, but I might be able to destabilize that by playing d5. d5. I mean, he plays knight to h6, check, I take, he takes. Looks scary. Maybe it's working for him. But I don't think I have any other choice now, do I? I can't get rid of that knight anyway. I mean, I could play g6, and then he checks, and I, I take, he takes. My dark squares are really weak, so I don't want to do that. So I'm going to play d5. My plan.
thinking d takes on e4, pawn takes, bishop takes, and hopefully he moves his knight. Note that if he does knight to h6 check, I can just move my king because then he plays knight to f7 check and he wins my queen. So I would have to take. And that's probably his best chance. Check. It looks very scary for me. Yeah, I mean, I have to take. I really do, don't I? Or can I bring my knight back after this? Now, let's just take it. I mean, I have no choice, so. So, what's the best way to defend this? What about bishop to e7? Defending both those squares. Bishop to e7. Rook check, and then I get to bring my rook into the into that file. I need to simplify now, right? My game strategy should change. My pawn on d5 is fine. So now my pawn on e5 will be a bit undefended, but I think it's important. Oh, maybe he can sacrifice that knight. <laughs> I did not consider that. Check. Okay, well, he didn't do it. I thought knight, moving that knight was going to be a good move because then he could come to g4 with check, and that looked not good for me, but he didn't do that. So I'm going to run into the corner and then bring my rook. I thought knight to h4 or knight to um yeah, knight to h4 must have been devastating for me. I think I might have missed that by playing bishop to e7 too fast, but he didn't see it, so his loss. See what a computer has to say. You do kind of feel bad that you gave him that opportunity though. I mean, I saw the tactic, so if, if I saw it after playing my move, I should have seen it before playing my move. I kind of had a feeling he would play Rook to G1 check, though it's like the most obvious move at his level, isn't it? Look for the first check and play it, um, that's not a good thing, because he actually had Knight to H4, must have been working, Knight to H4. How do I defend? I guess I would have to play King to H8, but then he gets Knight to F5. That knight is looking nasty. And now he can't do it anymore because now I'll just take the knight. Um, he's gonna castle, I presume. Okay, well, I don't really think I wanna take 24 anymore. Opening up. His castling rook onto my queen. So I might just play d4, moving his bishop to a more awkward position, like disconnecting his queen from the, from the king side. Let's do that. I could try and trade, uh, well no, because if I, I was thinking of bishop to h4, but after the trade, um, his queen wins c7, which is probably not great. So what I'm thinking now is c5, c5, c4, takes, 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 this is king is going to be exposed. Can I improve my knight? This knight looks... Doesn't look good. Uh, 
knight to f8, knight to g6. He's not really going to play h4 anytime soon, is he? Knight to f8, he wins e5, doesn't he? <clears throat> My bishop on um on b7 is pretty bad now. I need to sort that out somehow. e5, no. I want to open the c file. This king is going there. I'm just going to play c4, I think. c5, sorry. Let's see what he's got as a response to that. Coincidentally, I'm also protecting the a5 square, which is pretty good. Really? Okay, F7 is weak. That is true. <coughs> Rook G8. He takes an f7. Knight to f6. No. I don't want to play rook to f8. That looks very, very fussy. Knight to f8, maybe? Still? If he wants to take on f7, he can be my guest. I mean, that looks very risky with his rook being so disconnected. I mean, he gets a pawn, but I have a piece, remember? So, I mean, his queen is not attacking h7 anytime soon. Oh, well, knight to f8, I lose my. Do I? Yeah, I can't afford to lose. E5, can I? <clears throat> I just need to simplify here. Rook to G8, he takes. I mean, I, can't, I could just play F6. It looks ugly but might be working well no, I don't like that um, is there any other way to defend f7 maybe I should just play rook to f8 and then um it castles and whatever I just play f5 he can't take, he will lose his knight. And I have g8 defended, so I think I'm gonna do this. If he finds like some amazing way to, to win, good for him. I mean, I guess bishop to g5. I can play so many things. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try f5 next.
to f5, bishop to g5. Oof. I need to relieve this pressure somehow. I think I'm gonna try for f5 anyway. Yeah, I'm just protecting. I mean, I'm getting rid of that weak pawn, so. Ah, oh, let's play that. Well, I don't have to take, that's the thing. I can play maybe knight to. Well, knight to f6 is not good, is it? I could play bishop to f6. Bishop to f6 might be a solution. Well, not quite though, can it? Bishop to f6, he takes. I have to take. And again, I don't want to take with a knight because my pawn drops. Take with a queen, he takes my, my, my knight is hanging. I take on e4. He defends his knight. Hmm. I don't want to take his bishop because then um, h7 is just a disaster. Oh, he's going to get his knight there anyway, isn't he? Ah, oh, I should have probably not played f5, should I? Now that I think about it. So what about rook to e8? If he takes, I take with, with the rook. And he has to move his rook. Well, I guess he doesn't. Um, he plays the other rook in. I take, he takes with the rook. How do I get myself into so many problems? Oh, <laughs> uh, dear. I mean, I could technically swap the knight and the queen. No, but the knight is hanging here, isn't it? Oh. Rook to e8. Excuse me. Okay, well, I should play something, right? So. I'm going to play this. Let's see.
after this I could probably play um, bishop to f6 if he plays rook to g1. So because then my, my rook is protecting e5 so I can take back with a knight. And a knight on f6 would be really nice. Um, so that looks good. I could even play. Yeah, so my plan is bishop to f6. So his best bet right now is probably to take that bishop. Let's see. Okay. But I'm going to play bishop to f6 now. Ooh, I can't take with a knight my, my bishop on the on the B file hangs. Let's, um That rook is extremely annoying, isn't it? I can play knight to f8 now, right? Well, no, my platform hangs. <laughs> I'm so tied up. I have six minutes to figure this out, though, so everything's fine. Uh, rook to b8. Let's do it. Again, his best move is probably to take the bishop. Although, if I play bishop to f6, and he takes the knight first, that will get nasty very quickly. Well, I can take the bishop to check, and then take the rook. Okay. So, if he plays king to b1, that's probably a good move. Um, otherwise, bishop to f6 looks like is stabilizing things for me. Nice attack. I mean, I know it's in sound and that if he had chances, it's only because I didn't play accurately, but it's 7 p.m. or cup of five, so... That's my excuse, but <laughs> I think um, the most important thing is out of the opening, I was I had an advantage, which is always my goal, and I may yet end up winning this. It's finally thinking. Hmm. I mean, what else is there to say about this position? Okay, so queen to e2, how does that change things? It protects that knight. Um, it also, if he takes, he'll be attacking um, e5 again. But I think I win a rook now. Well, not necessarily, but... I'm gonna play this. I guess he can play rook to f7. He has not have to take. That is a good point. But then maybe I can play f4. Uh, f4. I don't get a check anymore. I'm not really going to take the rook though, am I? Hmm. 
Maybe I can play Rook to e7 next. Oh god, that is hideous. Absolutely hideous. I kind of want to play f4 now, actually. I'm not sure I should have let him take on f5. Well, if he takes on f5, then I can trade the knight. Then I take the bishop. Could be fine. I am a piece up. I mean, right now that's not being felt because that's that bishop on b7, which is not really doing anything. Okay, so I take with a knight. Okay. I'm happy with this, I think, because. The more pieces I trade off, the more my advantage should be felt. Um, I'm only up two points of material, but and he's probably going to recover one at five point. Still though, well, my knight's defending that checkmate now, so he wants to play rook to uh, knight to f7 checkmate. Um, what about rook to e7? Sorry, I lose material, right? I lose a little bit of material, yeah. I'm gonna have to. Okay, yeah, this is not looking pretty again. <laughs> Hmm, not looking good. I mean, I could play rook to f8. Maybe that's better. Oh, he has knight to e6. Annoying. All right, well, let's do it. It's going to be equal in material now, isn't it? Or he's going to go up. Well, that's slow. That is slow. I'm not sure why. I mean, I can play queen to f8 now, right? I'm really not sure why he played that. Obviously, I'm not going to take... Oh, actually, I couldn't even take on g7. I should take on g7. I mean, he can't play knight check. Or oh, he can. Well, no, he can't. I just got king g8. So rook takes, pawn takes, king g8. Um, knight to e6. I should be fine. Knight on e6, what was he doing exactly? I mean, I get it that he has a passed pawn, yeah, but. 
it's better than giving back material, surely it has to be. I don't have that much time to think anymore anyway. Check. I mean, he takes an F on the F file. Um, queen E7? I don't know. He's gonna do that first. Queen E7. He takes on the F file. Bishop D5. Queen takes. I mean, I don't have to play Bishop D5 straight away. Is E7 the best spot? I mean, I'm defending C5. Yeah. Oh, maybe um, d6, queen d6 was a better place. Yeah. Queen d6 was better, wasn't it? Am I still up a whole piece? I'm not pawn, right? Because he has so many pawns. But what about bishop to d5? His queen takes, I take, he takes with the pawn. That pawn is going to fall, surely. Oh, I can't take because I think he takes with the queen, my rook is hanging. But that's okay, isn't it? Um, can I just play rook to, to e8? <coughs> I have to play rook to e8 anyway now first. Ah. Oh. I could also play knight to d7. That might be worth it. Knight to d7. Just defending that pawn for now. I'm gonna try that. Knight to d7, bishop to d5. Let's try that. Okay, I have to just move now, huh? It's pretty desperate times now. Hopefully I'm not blundering like yesterday from a winning position. F4, is that his best move? F4, bishop, d5, he takes, I take, he takes, I take, that could be fine for me. I mean, his best move is probably to get the knight back to um to g5. He shouldn't let me trade that knight, that's for sure. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead with my plan. I'm not sure what his queen is doing, defending that pawn perhaps.
And if he plays knight to g5, maybe I can play h6. Just taking a knight away. Knight to g5, h6. Looks logical. Yeah. I mean, his pawns look mighty. <laughs> but I need to get rid of that knight. I mean, he goes knight to e4. I play knight to f6. Yeah. Uh huh. I can also start thinking of taking after knight to f6. I can take on g7 maybe. Oh, I can't right now because um, his rook will come in with check. But I can um. What if I ignore him now and I try to play for c4? He takes, I take, he takes. And his king gets, oh, I don't have time to be, I don't really want to take, he looks pretty nasty. Maybe not, maybe I'm exaggerating this. I don't want to take. I really like to improve this knight now. Question is how? Oh. I think I'm just going to go for this. Can't let him push, can I? Fifty seven seconds. It's a good move, right? Um how about knight to h five, knight to f four? Let's try that. I was probably not a good move. Rook to b7. I don't want to play knight to f4 before he gets his queen in. Um, depending on what move he plays next, let's see. Knight to f4 looks kind of good. Protecting my weaknesses on that side. But he's probably going to find a really good move now and some my time pressure. See what happens. If I could just trade trade some pieces, this would be a piece of cake, I think. Uh, at least the queen, you know. This is not being a pretty game. But as long as you win. Doesn't matter how pretty it is, right? So I have 48 seconds to, <laughs> to make that work. Ah, uh, yeah, he does the right move here. But I can attack his rook, right? That might work. I'm attacking his queen as well on d3. That 
that might that might be my defense right there. So let's see. <clears throat> I mean, I don't see what he's doing. I'm on a trade pieces now. Yeah, I feel good now. Well, that's what I said last time and um, yesterday. And, uh, he came up with a crazy tactic, but here we go. I can trade queens here. So I can take maybe on f7. He takes. Oof. Can I play queen to f f7? I think I can do this. Oof. This is bad, isn't it? He has checkmate coming up. Oof. No, I did not see that. I did not see that. 27 seconds. This is... A lost cause, isn't it? Time warning. If I take, he takes. Check, take. Oh no. Yeah, I've lost this, haven't I? <laughs> oh, incredible. Check. Well. That's what happens in time pressure. I'm sure there was a defense there somewhere, but alas, I might still somehow hold out. I'm going to lose that rook. Check. <clears throat> Okay. I'm gonna try and get that on. Check. That's okay, take that. Might still be able to win this. <laughs> so, that would be bizarre, wouldn't it? Um, I want to lose that pawn. Oh, these are like controllers. Um, King to e3, d3. Or d3 first. Let's see what he plays. <clears throat> I want to play this first. Well, he's definitely winning right now. But my pawn on d3 is very strong, so if I can somehow hold out for a draw. Check. I'm gonna play this. Check. I'm gonna play here. So you're gonna play for the draw here. Let's try this. Well, I might have no choice. I think um, this is a draw.
Check. And I think I dropped the win again. Somewhere along the lines. Really? Okay, well. D to check, he takes, I take, he wins. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to put here again. Check. <clears throat> I think I messed up when I played Queen 2 of 7. I didn't see that meeting part, and I need to do more in game practice, you see? I should have recognized that with my Queen taking away the Check. F7 square. Oh, okay. Okay, so he thinks he's gonna win. He might be right. He might be. Really, really right. <sighs> How about C4? He takes, I take, he goes, nah, that's not working. Yeah, well, this is a problem, isn't it? Well, Might still be a draw with accurate play, but no, I might, I might actually win this. I may, well, it's a draw for sure, I can see that now. I am not losing this, that's for sure. I say that now, I'm not gonna lose this, but I've said that before, right? So, I think it's a draw for sure. If anybody starts to lose, it's him. Check. Okay, I didn't see that. But it's a draw, right? So just C takes some B. Arbok takes, and he runs away. And he kings before I do. So that's not possible. It's a draw, right? I mean. Yeah. Nothing doing. What a shame. Well, actually, maybe if I can move up now. He moves down. I move up. He moves up. Okay, so it's the wing <laughs> before A6. B2, A7, ah, it's a draw, isn't it? Ah, alright, well, I'm gonna look at analysis and post it on YouTube. Thanks for watching, I think the opening went well, and after that I messed it up somewhat, so. <laughs> alright, bye bye.